I'm Brendan Walker, I'm Professor of Creative Industries at Middlesex University. I'm the Creative Director of the world's first neuro brain monitoring ride, which effectively we put on a brain cap, it monitors your brain waves, and then a whole new virtual world emerges ahead of you. Future Fest is a celebration of the future of technology, of culture, of society. We're really trying to imagine what kind of a world we're going to be living in in 2050. I'm here today with the rest of the team presenting Neurosis, which is a fairground ride of the future where your brain is the only limitation to the world and excitement you can have. The reason I built Neurosis because I believe we've reached the limitations of what our bodies can be pushed to do in theme parks. Now the new place to find extreme thrills is in the depths of your own mind. Because Middlesex University is crucial in building parts of the ride like the motion platform, it means what we learn there, students can now learn. So if they're learning the same skills and techniques I've used in Neurosis, then they will be able to go away and make their own rides in the future where their imagination is the only limitation to what they're able to do. My role in building Neurosis has been looking at how the chair moves. As part of my experience at Middlesex, I work on mechatronics and this chair is controlled by air muscles. So I've been in charge of making sure that the chair moves smoothly and that we can get it to all the positions we want it to go to. This chair is powered by air, so that part of this horse has really helped me to this. We have lighting going on here, we have communication protocols, we have robotics and movement, and these are all things that I've studied during the course, and it's been nice to be able to put them together to make a final product like this ride. For potential students looking to get into this area, I would recommend practicing and also taking any opportunity that comes your way. It's great having a theory, it's great attending lectures, but until you get into the real world and start applying those things you've learned, that's where the key learning comes in.